One of the common mistakes, perceptions about leadership is that the person who exercises leadership should be Mr. or Mrs. Know-it-all. Now, I can't think of a situation where that is more dangerous when it comes to exercising leadership than to pretend that you know everything because you don't and when you are in a position where you're exercising leadership and whatever you're doing is influencing the lives of people whether it's your family your organization your country you're talking about lives of people and you have their attention and they're influenced by you whether you like it or not so taking any risk where you will influence these people in the wrong way just because you want to protect your ego or you want to have a bigger ego that claims that you know everything is a suicide mission leadership is about humility leadership is about being a constant learner leadership is about focusing on whatever solves the problem whatever captures the opportunity whoever has the best idea that's what leadership is about it's not about how smart and intelligent you are it's not about you having all the answers this is not this is a, this is the journey of ego this is about being narcissistic this is not leadership it's not about you leadership is about them it's about matters to them it's about how you reduce people's suffering is how do you improve people's life that's what leadership is about and whoever you are i don't care about your education your experience you know what you've learned you might be the smartest person you know iq of 175 and you have like 25 phds that's fine i respect that but you still don't know everything and often people who are in the problem themselves they know more about the problem and possibly the solutions then you so it's very important to have the mindset of I don't know and to have the courage of saying that people ask you a question even if you're in a position of you know authority or you're exercising leadership you don't know say I don't know guess what people will respect you more just say I don't know why why is this important because by saying that you've just invited the intellect and the experience of everybody else to come into the game and things collective think collectively rather than just waiting for an answer from you and even and sometimes might be a fake answer so when you say i don't know number one you're showing humility number two you're leading by example by telling people open your mind so